the window that's open with a family is, is very small. You know, it's a very small opening. It's Jennifer Brandhuber's job as a CPS investigator to widen those windows on the homes she's assigned to. The Caldwell native says it's the investigations that keeps her coming back for more. I love this job. You never know what your what your day is going to consist of, how long your day is going to be, and I, I like that variety. Brand Huber makes her rounds across the Brazos Valley and beyond, opening and closing cases to help better children's lives. So I'm here today just as a follow up. I'm trying to close the case out, and I just wanted to let you know I've spoken to the doctors, and they have no concerns in regards to your grandson's health. But it's no secret the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services can use some revamping. That's why retired Texas Ranger Hank Whitman is now in charge. I was hired, bottom line, because our governor was sick and tired reading about infants and toddlers who were severely injured or killed while or after they were involved with child protective services. It's a higher brand Huber can get behind. He didn't deal with just, you know, children. I mean, in law enforcement, you deal with everyone, you know, no matter what. But a lot of times children are involved in those situations. The goal? Reform from within. Child welfare agencies across the country have issues with turnover because this job is extremely hard. Right now I'm sitting at between 40 and 50. Now some of those cases have been reassigned because we've just recently lost two investigators. We do need um, to retain caseworkers because that helps everybody at the agency when people stay in their jobs because when people when caseworkers leave that's when caseloads start to rise. Hi, I'm Jennifer with Child Protective Services. May I come in? In Bryan College Station, Matthew Villanueva, News 3.